This is precisely the reason why Andy Stanley should not be a pastor. Recently, Andy Stanley at his church, North Point Church, that church baptized a transgender. This is a woman who is pretending to be a man, a trans man. I guess what, I guess that's the, the, the title for today. But this is actually a woman who wants to be a man who has apparently, according to them, have come to know Christ. Well, here's the issue, though. They decided to baptize this person. Now, when you baptize, that does not make you saved. But what it is, is you affirming that you are a a believer in Christ, you've placed your faith in Christ, you're making a public declaration. But if you do so as a transgender, if you do so as a woman claiming to be a man, then you're doing so under false pretenses. You're doing so with the illusion or given the belief that it's okay to live this way in a sin, and it is a sin, you're giving an okay and approval to do so. You're saying this is who God wants me to be. And when the church says it's okay, when the church baptizes you, well, then now we've got approval from the body. Hi, I'm 26 years old, and my name is Troy Zapp. For the last 25 years of my life, I was simply going through the motions when it came to growing in my faith and attending church. I was always taught that the Bible was a book of rules and God was the rule master. This brought on a lot of fear when thinking about having a close and personal relationship with Jesus Christ. The people in my life that mattered to me the most were the ones to tell me that who I was and who I am today would never be good enough for God to love and accept. That for some reason, my sins were far worse than theirs and anyone else's. In September of 2014, I had a decision that would completely alter my life and everyone around it, including my friends, family, coworkers, and neighbors. I was lucky to meet up with Elaine Scott and Clay Scroggins of North Point Community Church in order to seek answers on how to get on God's good side and what it took to receive a passing score into his heart. They truly knew that that's not the answers I needed to hear that day, that God loves us no matter what, and that in proof, he sent his only son down to die for our sins, that he would truly love me no matter what. And in that moment and on that day, I truly knew what it felt like to accept Jesus Christ into my heart. For so many years, I thought we had to be this perfect Christian image in order to receive God's love and acceptance. It's a shame that it took me this long to figure out that God's love was already there all along. Today, I'm proud to say that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. That, that's your mom, isn't it? <laughs> Troy, I think you, your story just says it all. I mean, there is nothing greater or more freeing than knowing that God loves us, God loves you, right where you are, exactly as you are. And the, and the confidence that comes from knowing that your life is forever changed because of Jesus. And I am so honored to do your baptism today, and it is based upon your profession of faith that it's my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> now, there's a lot going on with this, and I won't deal with the woman baptizing her. But the fact of the matter is that the church is giving approval to this. We know the passage that says in Isaiah 520, woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who substitute darkness for light and light for darkness, who substitute bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. This is what's happening here. Someone is saying that, no, this isn't bad. This is a good thing. And God loves me for who I am. You present it in such a way that you put this little um, Hollywood spin on it, that you give the the uh, video editing and the background music, you add that so that it makes it look like one gives you the feeling that it's a good thing, that the presentation is nice, that you can kind of get sucked into it, you can be brought into it, and you can feel the person, you can see them uh, as God, according to them, wants you to see them, but that's just wrong. Putting a bow on sin does not make it any less sin. And here we have an issue where this person is deceived and being deceived. Those who go to North Point seem to be deceived and are being deceived. Same thing with Andy Stanley. He is deceived and being deceived. Lest we forget, this is the same Andy Stanley who said that those people in the LGBT community have more faith than Christians who are not gay. A gay person, when I say gay, men and women, okay? A gay person who still wants to attend church after the way the church has treated the gay community, I'm telling you, they have more faith than I do. They have more faith than a lot of you. Now, let's not be confused. God is clear in what he says. Paul says so in Romans 1. Look at the very end. He's speaking about homosexuality. 
and this LGBTQ lifestyle. Look what he says in verse 32. He says, although they know the ordinances of God, that is obviously Andy Stanley, he knows better. And then I would say presumably, presumably this person, this woman who's living life as a man also would know that those who practice such things are worthy of death. And look what he says. Here's the issue. They not only do the same, but also give hearty approval to those who practice it. In other words, they live this lifestyle and they give approval to those who do so. What do you think that North Point, the message that they're sending? They're sending that it is okay. They're giving approval for sin. It's one thing to be in sin. It's one thing to get caught up in the sin. It's another thing to be in a sin and or to give approval of the sin and say that it's no longer sin and God loves you in that way. I would say to anyone who listens to Andy Stanley and certainly anyone that goes to that church, leave that church, leave this man alone. He is to be avoided. This man is clearly not a friend of the Bible and is not doing this person. I don't know what, it, what the real name is going by Troy now. That's not doing that person any sort of uh, uh, honorable service. They're doing this person a disservice. And anyone that would listen to this person, you'd be wise to avoid him.